If you go into playback menu once you've taken a picture and go down to playback display option, then you will see that you have options that give you information on the picture once you've taken it. So you've got the options of showing the highlights, the RGB histogram, shooting data and overview. Now these are really useful bits of information and they're useful for you to recall to go back to once you've taken the picture and you just want to see what settings you had or actually during the live shoot when you can see through the RGB histogram or the tonal histogram where your picture may be failing or just not working to its optimum. So they're very useful things to have and by allocating and switching those on when you go into playback mode and you look at your pictures by pressing the cross keys up or down you will be given these pieces of information with the picture also viewable on the view screen. It's a really useful way of just keeping control and keeping an eye on the various options and settings that you have when you take a picture. Uh, so for example, it will give you, as I say, the histograms, but also the ISO, it will give you the, uh, the focal length, uh, it will give you all the various uh, autos uh, in terms of white balance or whether the flash was on, etc., etc. It's In the old days, uh, when you were shooting with film, you would have taken a notebook and written all of this down, but because it's available on the back screen, it makes it a whole lot easier. If you want to know more about this camera, then why don't you download our unique guide, which tells you all about the Nikon D3400 and compares it with other cameras which are available now. You can download it either from here or from the link in the description below, and you can download it absolutely free. So why don't you go to it straight away and download it now, and we'll see you very soon. Uh.